Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Erica. So this morning I did a very strong channeling session, healing session, and what came through was a very powerful message that I wanted to share with all of you regarding the power of the eclipse and some guidance as a follow-on to the video that I posted yesterday. And even if you're watching this at a time other than the eclipse, know that these are the energies that will be impacting the next six months. So I will be reading the channel as it came through today now and hoping that it brings you some light, some strength, and some guidance. The energies of today are causing great upheaval on the planet. Tensions flaring, tempers flaring. And within this eclipse, energy is a moment of stillness, a blocking of the intensity of the sun's energy for just a few moments. It is within that stillness, the reverence and the awe of such a grand celestial event cuts through to allow the final release through the portal of this solar eclipse. Because just like this eclipse, the illusion tries to block the sun. And while it may cover the sun, the ring of fire persists. It is mightier than the dark. This is that eclipsing moment of the inevitable truth, that the passionate fires that have been ignited of purpose, of light, of power, cannot be eclipsed. It is that moment of truth, of utter and complete truth, for all the world to see and to feel if they cannot see it. Because it is happening whether they can see it or not. The earthly realm is undergoing a radical and rapid transformation now. The forces of Gaia are assisting in this matter by lending her energy and her forces to this cataclysmic change. She is both instigator and nurturer. She is both fury and calm. She is fire and ice. She is all the elements in all of their combinations, all at once, at any given moment. She is alive, empowered, ready to nurture and give life force to those inhabitants on the earth who are undergoing this massive transformation. It is the fire of transformation that is purging the darkness and the old and cleansing away anything that is meant to be released. Only the strongest will remain, like the fire that burns the dead wood, the overgrowth, the weeds, and yes, some flowers as well. This process is why nature does what it does. This clears away anything preventing the beautiful growth, the beautiful new revived world that will be growing on the incredibly fertile soil of what remains after this purge. You are prepared to stay strong during this purging and fire that is taking over the earth realm now. You were planted here long ago with very, very deep roots. That while there may be a storm on the outside, and you may even be burned due to the fire, your roots go very, very deeply into the earth for nutrients, water, and life force. This is why many of you have been in hermit mode leading up to this point. Yet it is now time to get into action, as Pluto has now stationed direct, which is about moving that transformation forward within the structures of your environment and lives. Know that you are powerful and will remain strong. Others will look to you for your example, for your strength and resilience to endure this powerful and radical transformation occurring on the planet. Peace be with you, within you, and around you. Because it is the energy of peace that the human soul seeks. When things are tumultuous, people feel that presence of energy around you, and it calms and soothes them. If they cannot find that within self, 
This is a time to exude and give out that energy of not only strength and action, but of peace. Like stated in your video yesterday, standing in the light of truth, in divine and righteous power. When one stands in divine righteous power, it allows others to feel protected, to know that an example of that energy exists in the world. One that is not afraid to stand in the fury of transformation, demonstrating faith, power, and the almighty love of the divine. This is needed far more than people realize. And once they encounter that energy, they cannot turn away. Everything else that is not energy, that is not that energy, falls away. It loses power, influence, credibility, as there is no comparison to the divine truth and the light. And that is what is happening now on a global scale. We thank you, we honor you, we support you and strengthen you. For in the strengthening of you, there is more peace within yourself, within your field, within your mission. It is quite the juxtaposition of energies, is it not? The passion and the power combined with the peace. This is the yin and yang. This is the masculine and feminine. This is the partnership energy. And that is what is here now. And so it is. So my beautiful friends, that was the channeled message that came through earlier today. And I hope that it brings you clarity, peace, strength, and light. Sending you all so much love. Until next time.